ever since the land was announced to uh, take place here in Vegas, I, I knew immediately, oh my god, I want to qualify for this world. Oh my goodness, I, I need to go to this world. It's going to be amazing. I've been super excited and I've really been having a lot of fun. This was actually my first time ever in Vegas. I'm not allowed to gamble or anything, but I still found stuff to do. Like, uh, I got to walk around just see see things I usually don't see in Canada. Coming into Las Vegas, uh, myself and the team, we had very high expectations for ourselves. Uh, usually coming into a tournament, we're fairly confident, but for me, this one, I felt more confident than ever. Preparing for this world uh, in comparison to the last world championship in London um, hasn't actually been a whole lot different and it was just a lot of fun. We got to get some good practice in but we got to do some team building and just really hang out and get in our right mind for the world championship. Going into the tournament we did a lot of preparation. We had a boot camp in Atlanta and we, uh, we put in a lot of practice and put in a lot of hours and hopefully it shows. Flipside Tactics going up against G2. Oh my goodness, I think for any hardcore fans, this is something that we've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. It's the Cronovi Cucks here matchup. It's G2! G2 keeping Flipside on their toes. Now Cronovi up. It's another touch on it. Might get a third. No, oh for man! The shot. Grenovi doing it all himself. And boy, did they come to play here. Grenovi, a great catch. Cooks it right on it. Double commit. Defense scrambling for flip side. Rizzo off the wall. Gonna follow it up. Touch. Air triple. Oh my and goodness. Rizzo hits it. And that is his fifth goal of the series so far. <laughs> This has to be a clear. It has to. Yukio hitting this off the backboard. Is anyone there? A miss chance for G2. And That's they it. both double commit and flip side close it out. They beat G2 and are moving on in the upper bracket. After the close game five with flip side, we knew that we would have to play PSG next. Uh, so we reviewed a bit of PSG gameplay. Um, the game plan was just go in, be super clinical and super clean, and PSG will be the ones to make the mistake. Go, go G2! G2! Go Rizzo! <laughs> the crowds at events always tend to be pretty crazy. I don't think for us there's really a difference between like NA and EU crowds. Everybody kind of still goes crazy just because everybody loves Rocket League and everybody loves to have a good time. It's the North American team, G2, going up against the European team, PSG, a best of five. The winner moves on to play Evil Geniuses in the next round. The loser is out of our World Championship event. Gets it over to Fair, now on the backboard, looking for the fall himself, looking for a following kickoff goal. Response nearly coming through. Kronovi still got boost to work with. Gets blocked with the follow up still there from JNAPS. Finds the shot upper corner and it's a lead back for G2. This is the G2 we know they're capable of. There we go. Back and forth we go wave. Shootout here between PSG and G2. Seconds left in regulation. Looking like overtime as Shaw Set sends it towards the goal. Rizzo puts it away. Jane apps to keep it from Vera. Dropping it back down in. Fruity puts Fruity. it through. Nine seconds left. Jane apps versus Fruity. He gets it past him. Can they put it in? Up above the box. Nobody's there. They can't find the follow up. The clock is dead. Jane apps has to get underneath it. And he misses PSG. Stays alive. Having to qualify and missing out on E League is something that was definitely a bummer to us. Uh, since, you know, we last time we went and we ended up winning the whole thing, it was something that we wanted to like defend our title in and just go and have fun at another tournament. So not being able to compete in that is definitely heartbreaking. I think that's one of the best parts about being a pro player is the fact that even if you lose out early, you have a lot of people who support you no matter what. 
and they're willing to wait that two hour line like we did. So it's awesome to have dedicated fans. Go G2! Go G2! Every LAN event, one of the coolest things to do is go and meet all the fans. Everybody always has something heartwarming or like something that just puts a smile on your face Then they just want to tell you it and it makes you just feel really good. So we didn't make E-League, we, we actually lost round one and we got 10th place. Pretty disappointed, but there's always going to be more tournaments and um, yeah, hopefully there's another E-League next season.